let's have a look at these two. These are both two gallon cans. The one on the left is a commercial two gallon petrol can. Shell Motor Spirit stamped on the side. They weren't used. Certainly not at this point. The one on the right is a two gallon can for water. It has no markings on the top whatsoever. Some of you will find plain marked on the top with the date and broad arrow, and clearly that's correct, and that's normally uh, up in this area. This one's dated on the bottom. Um, but it would have a spout, so if you've got that in the collection, make sure you've got the clip for it so you don't lose it, and put it on. Uh, but you know, they're the same service colour. There's no sort of different colours for the cans or anything like that. Service colour. And they weren't petrol cans. You don't put you're using petrol cans for petrol and actually late in the war you'd be using jerry cans and you see some of those being used as vickers condenser cans in some photos certainly with the motor battalions it seems more popular but they weren't petrol cans so you know, if you see one shell motor spirit they're lovely to have in a collection but they have their own collectors there's their own collectors market for them and they'll probably get very upset if you start painting over them um as you know, all collectors do they love their own things more than anything else uh so there's no need Try and find a plain one if you can. Bizarrely, one of the scarcest items of Vickers uh, material seems to be the condenser hose. So this tubing that goes down and into the can. Uh, don't know why. Yeah, it was a good bit of solid brass. Don't know if it was just scrap. Don't know if actually just the pallet of these was left in Australia for some reason. Or there was a ruined pallet. Because uh, it would have been in bulk. There would have been one or at least one. Probably three per gun. Uh, but the gun should have them. They do, certainly, you know, if you're using it in a combat environment, um, that tube will be attached and it should be attached at all times. Forgive the missing muzzle gland here, but this is the first World War hose. You know, so a proper sort of metal steam tube there. Uh, much, much scarcer than the rubber ones even. Uh, again, you know, they were replaced just post First World War. So you know, much older. Uh, they shouldn't be used on the Second World War display and vice versa. The Second World War hose really shouldn't be used on the First World War um, display because it is wrong. Uh, what you can do is unscrew the condenser hose like so or unscrew the boss uh, on the condenser hose and just leave it like that. But if you're doing a first world war display be quite happy and take a hose off just leave it like that. It's that thread that's under this piece so undo take the hose off and sometimes the the boss will come with it go and then unscrew so if you've got first world war display a little bit of deviation from what we're supposed to be talking about here but just leave it like that and if you've got the cork you know and these corks always get bashed so hopefully we'll have an, something to do about that soon from the association but you know that's where that lives and until it gets fired that cork doesn't pop out